Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's definitely Kira B. It is me, Kira B. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, if you are stopping by, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay a while because we a lit family over here. Y'all, it is early. It is Friday. It's currently 521. And I'm going to go to the airport. Because we are going to, well, y'all will see a little bit later where I'm going. But I just wanted to come and start the vlog off because we're going to have an eventful, interesting weekend. So, come along for the ride, stay a while, don't leave, get comfortable, all that stuff. Cause it's going to be a good time. And, yeah. Alright y'all, we're in the Uber. Uber Lex. <laughs> Say it, Courtney. Good morning. It's probably dark in here, but we on our way to the airport. We will be there shortly. We get some breakfast, y'all. Somebody said they couldn't wait. So I'm trying this Wendy's for the first time. Um, I, I guess some ketchup. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. You too. I'm trying this Wendy's breakfast for the first time. Oh, my YouTube is definitely Kira B. We got a little bread fizz. Yes. Yeah, start my channel. Join the family because it's lit. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. Are we doing a video? You want to say hi? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Because she lost the air bud. We gotta be the last ones off. Hello, bye. 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 Thank you. We made it. Oh, so close. Can you sit right here? Barely. Oh, I hold it. Hey, y'all, okay, we back. So, got through the airport, got our rental car. Tried to go check in, but they didn't have the room ready. So we had to go find something to eat. Say so, hey. We tired. Um, we was going to the breakfast club, but Atlanta Breakfast Club, but the one downtown, I believe, was three hours wait. Who waiting three hours? So we had another location and we're gonna go right and eat. So I will get checked back with y'all when we get our food. But let y'all know how it is. It's a clear. Change of plans, y'all. We did not eat at that Atlanta Breakfast Club. That was the chicken and waffles location. That's the one we wanted. But we did go to the Madam T.J. Walker Beauty Shop Museum. Y'all gonna see some clips. It was real nice in there, y'all. But now we finna eat at BQE. And yep, so be back when we go in there.
I'm so full, y'all. I don't know if y'all can hear me over the music, but I'm so full. Y'all, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Is it blurry? I don't think there's no light. There we go. All right, y'all. So it might be a little dark. I'm sorry. I'm in the car. But let me fill y'all in. So the whole purpose of my trip that I have not mentioned is because I am planning to move to Atlanta. So I came here to look at some apartments, you know, start my apartment search. I got a few months before I actually have to move from my leases up, but we're going to get things rolling. I know y'all probably like, Atlanta is full. Stop moving us so away. It's room for me. Make room for me. Period. Okay, but we at the first apartments. I forgot the name. The reserve at Garden Lake. So yes, I will show y'all uh, what the unit looks like. So yep. What's up? What's up? Welcome home. Come on hey. in. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> I'm trying to make this show new home right here. It's the reserve at Garden Lake. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is your home. Okay, we're over here. Yes, come on. <laughs> Okay, so tour over. He actually showed me um, two different one bedrooms, the smaller one and the larger one, which I really did like both of them. Um, the only downside in my opinion would be the bathroom being in the bedroom. Cause you know, you don't in your room. But other than that, oh, and then there's no wash and dry connection in the unit. But other than that, I like the apartment. The people over here seem so friendly y'all seems like a family property people mind their business it's quiet i like it but i make sure i put the link in everything in the description for y'all if you guys are interested moving on to the next one hey y'all i'm back after like a few hours i did not go look at no more apartments we came back to the room and went to sleep. We was tired, y'all. We had woke up at like four something this morning. So we was tired. But now, we're getting dressed. And we're about to head out to this place called Fiend and Feathers. We have reservations at 8 o'clock. 
So I'm gonna take y'all with me. Okay. Eyelash. Eyelash. Looks funny. I don't know if I'm bring my camera. I might walk off my phone, but I don't know because I ain't there yet with bringing this camera inside. But okay, I will bring y'all with me. We ready to go now. Ready. You heard them. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday. We are up. It's kind of early. Well, it's 11 o'clock. We're actually about to leave. Uh, we didn't do nothing last night after I had talked to y'all. We just lay in the bed, no social media, went to sleep. Now we're about to head out, get some breakfast, and get back on this apartment thing because that's why we're here. Um, we're going to Walmart because Courtney needs to go to Walmart. But let me show y'all what we look like before we walk out. So this is the vibe for today. It's giving very much casual cute. Yes, besties. Period. Ready All right, to for the day. But we about to be out and I don't know if I'll, oh, can't see me, where's it Kelly? Um, I don't know if I'll be back when we get to Walmart, but maybe we go get some food. We're trying to go to this place called Milk and Honey and from my understanding, the wait there is really long, but hopefully we'll get lucky because it's only two of us. So, yep, be back in a bit. All right, y'all, so we made it to Milk and Honey, but it's a little different than what I thought. You order and then you can either get your food to go or you can stand in a line and wait for patio seating, but we're just going to order our food to go, I guess, sit in the car and eat, which is probably better anyways, because it's already 12.15, so we can get this show on the road, look at some apartments, because I'm learning that everything here, nothing is close. Everything is at least 20, 23, 25 minutes apart so we need to make the most of our day and be very productive on our apartment search so yep so we're about to get out get us something to eat we're currently looking up at the menu and i guess i'll be back when we get our food and get in the car so yep I got grits, airs, fried lobster. We got turkey sausage and what is the French toast? Georgia peach cognac. Georgia peach cognac. They're good. These could have been fresh, but yeah. Okay, uh, I was just at this apartment right here. This is the first one on the list today. It's called Lakewood Crossing. They actually. They actually did not have a unit for me to view uh, because they're completely full. But they have some good things that I like. First of all, they have wash and dryer connections. Uh, their pricing are pretty good. I'll link them down in the description box. But yeah, Lakewood Crossing Apartment Homes. They have one, two, and three bedroom units. He told me they have two floor plans per each um, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom and they're fairly priced <coughs> the complex is really huge i actually drove through and asked a few people you know what they thought about the um the area and i got good reviews one lady only complaint was really that the trash was only in the front but that ain't an issue for me i just take my trash out when i'm leaving anyways but we're on to the next so i will be back when we get there all right y'all i'm back again we just looked at these, well, came to this apartment. It's called the Halston at Vinings Mountain. 
of course i'll put all the information at the bottom they actually look nice but first of all that guy that works in here he's all over the place he is all over the place okay but we couldn't view anything because you have to have an appointment but they don't answer the phone the phone was ringing almost off the hook while we were in there and he basically was like because it's just him he doesn't have time to answer the phones and all this and i heard him tell the guy that he was assisting before me that it's easier to email so yeah we couldn't see anything but he did send me he emailed me pictures and information so of course i will put the link for this place in the description seems pretty quiet over here i'm actually not going to go look into the apartment complex itself because i'm not interested but yeah, so moving right along. Check back in in a bit. So, all right. Hey, y'all, I'm back. It might be a little dark, sorry. But we at the mall now, um, Linux, cause somebody wanna come to the mall. And I did go and look at two other places I did not, um, Block them. I'm sorry. Jasmine at Winter Chapel, which I will put all the information in the description as I stated, and Rosemont Bindings Ridge. Which one of the main got on my nerves? Oh, that was the other one. But okay, so Jasmine at Winter Chapel, I didn't get to see, but the um, complex is really good. So when I decide to come back, I'm gonna schedule a, little, a tour with them because you had to schedule. They had good rates too. Okay, so then we saw Rosemont Bindings Ridge. Now, these are really nice. She said the apartment complex is over 40 years old. And they look nice, honey. Really nice. 50, 55 acres, I believe. It looks real upgraded and stuff like that. But all the units didn't have no wash and dryer. Like, why you want to pay all this money with no wash and dryer? I got to pay all this money to live in the apartment and still get some quarters to go wash? That's ghetto. But anyway, y'all, but all this information, like I said, will be down in the description. That's going to be it for the apartments at this time. We're doing Lenny's, get us something to eat from somewhere, and I don't know what we're doing later, but I will be back, of course, to check in with y'all. Say, hey. All right, bye. Y'all, I'm tired. We spent time in Lenny's. I can say I've been to Lenny's Mall now. Now we at this place called This Is It supposed to be what I say barbecue and seafood char grill it's supposed to be like black owned so we're gonna try it and we're gonna take you inside so you can see the food for yourself too so let's go this is it y'all yeah. Okay, y'all, we got our food. We are back at the hotel. I'm finna go ahead and show y'all this because I'm about to eat. So, we got me a cornbread muffin. Judge whoever you want to judge. I eat chitlins, macaroni, collard greens. Oh, we got some cake right here. I'll let y'all know the review. I'm so mad I ain't got no hot sauce, but I'm some busy. Good morning, good morning. So y'all, it's Sunday, we're getting ready to leave. We're packing up, say good morning. Good morning. Uh, we did not go out last night, we ate our food and we just chilled. Um, so yeah, now we're getting ready to leave. Check out, head to the airport. It's only like five minutes from here because we got a room close to the airport. I took my little yellow nails off, y'all. Yeah. But I'm gonna get some open back on this week. Anyway, just checking in with y'all. What am I love? Airport fit. Anyways, but yeah, so I will see y'all when we get to the airport. We just ate. I 
have me some Louisiana kitchen. How about where you at? Some Burger King. We just waiting. We about to go to security because it's 11:54. Our flight will work at 12:33. We'll start boarding. So yeah, I will come back on probably when we're boarding or whatever. But I'm gonna tell y'all about my trip later. I'll close it out later. So I can let y'all know about the trip. So yes, it was a great trip, but I'll give you more details. So, peace for now. We're boarding y'all. Back home, cooking and stuff. Y'all want to get that? Hold up, hold up, hold up.